So this is another writer program question, the sort of thing that is possible to be in paper one, GCSE. So this is a bit of an older one. Uh, and the older ones, um, they asked you to write in, in pseudocode, but the new ones, uh, they're going to ask you to write in whatever language you're doing. So Python, in our case, um, this uses a, a built in subroutine, which is called um, charter code, which um, returns the ASCII value. Now, obviously, you can do that in Python without the subroutine if you want to, but you, you can't in this case because it says that we need to develop the algorithm and we have to, we must use built in character to code. Um, this says charter code. I, I've written a Python routine that will do the same thing. Uh, it's called character to code, I'm afraid, rather than charter code, but you probably get the idea. So the first thing we need to do in this one um, is we ask the user to enter a character. So let's call it this char. This char equals input and we'll just say enter character. You don't have to put any message in these boxes when you're doing this in the exam, but it sometimes helps us to think about what we're doing and it makes it perhaps a bit clearer as well. Um, so we did the first bit, we got a character, we've put it into a variable using this assignment statement here. So, and the user input. Uh, so there's going to output lower if the user's entered a lowercase character and we can find the information on that here. So they've given us some ASCII values. So lowercase a is 97 and lowercase z 122. And it's given us two things on the outside of the boundary as well for testing purposes perhaps or so we can just think about um, the, the characters that are just outside that range so um, we could there's a number of ways you can do this but let's get a variable called value so value equals I'm going to use the word charter code even though I did it differently above charter code and we're going to send it this char as the parameter so that value there is going to go up here so charter code this character this character becomes character here and the value equals the order the ord order so the ascii order of character is going to give you an, as a number and return the value so that value variable there will then hold the number and it'll be if we put a lowercase a in it should be 97. So then we have to test this idea of lower or not lower. So we need an if statement for that. So if value is less than 97, because 97 is our A, or value is greater than 122, because 122, two is our top end or z didn't uh, write 122 very well there it's difficult sometimes on screen but hopefully you'll manage a bit better on paper so we need our colon at the end of this because it's an if statement so indent it as well print and if it is in if it's if it's less than this or more than this then it's going to be not a lowercase so we're going to print not lower there and anything else we're just going to print lower because if it's inside the range then we're going to print lower and actually that is all there is to this um you know in in the particular paper they gave seven marks for this um i don't know quite where the seven marks would have necessarily been um you have to bear in mind this is an older question as well and it was flowcharts or pseudocode but i would think that um we're going to get a mark for input 
we're going to get a mark for using character code to code connect correctly and using the return value so we might get two for that because we've used the return value properly there sent it the correct parameter uh, we could probably be a mark for using an if statement would be another mark for getting the uh, parameters of the if statement correct and it's probably going to be a mark for outputting in the correct place and there might be um, just a mark for something like um, having correct variable names or understandable variable names uh, or all the code being correct uh, or something of that nature so there's six marks there there's probably going to be another design mark somewhere and that give you the seven marks so hopefully you'll see that that was not um, too difficult the key thing here on this one is that you had to use the built-in function that they'd given to you that sends back the value so that's what they were trying to get you to do here is to make sure you understood how to use a function and return the value.